Hi brothers and sisters. So I'm going to continue with the uh, Halloween videos and this is going to be why. Why fake Christian ministries push the Halloween trick-or-treat ritual. Why do so many well-known Christian quote-unquote ministries strongly encourage Christians to enter into what they claim is a harmless Halloween trick-or-treat tradition? Because it is not harmless and they know it. Trick-or-treat, which appears to be an innocent tradition, is in reality a satanic ritual that cannot be sanctified no matter how many rationalizations Satan's ministers come up with. The trick-or-treat ritual is Satan's invention and is carried out on Satan's night. Any person, Christian or not, who participates in this ritual is giving evil spirits an invitation to come into his life and to have fellowship with him. Demonic affliction is a heavy price to pay for engaging in what false Christian ministers call harmless fun. A concerned Australian shared the druidic origin of the trick-or-treat ritual. It represents human sacrifice. Now I'm going to read uh, what this Australian had to say about it. In Australia today, we are seeing a tradition which has been accepted overseas for many years, creeping into our way of life with an alarming acceptance. It is becoming an event which is becoming popular on the social calendar. The evening of 31st October, we'll see many young Australian children going from door to door calling trick-or-treat not knowing that such a ritual was practiced by the Druids and their followers in medieval times. The trick-or-treat ritual was practiced by the Druids and their followers in medieval times. The Druids went from castle to castle doing exactly the same thing. They also demanded a treat. However, this demand for it was for a young woman who could be offered as a human sacrifice in a satanic ritual. The Druids were known as men of oak and they demanded blood sacrifices. These men were so controlled by satanic forces that they had strange and frightening powers. If the treat, the young woman, pleased the druids, they would light a candle made of human fat and insert it into in a jack-o'-lantern to protect those inside the castle from being killed by demons. When some of the families could not meet the demands of the druids, then it was time for a trick. A hexagram was drawn on the front door of the dwelling, and it was said that Satan and his demons could would would kill someone in the household through fear that night. The spellbinding beat of the druid music would fill the night as the ceremony began. The men would assault their victim and then brutally sacrifice her to their gods. Trigger treat ritual gives place to the devil. Satan's agents who represent themselves as Christians do not want Christians to know that Halloween is about human sacrifice, and they definitely do not want them to pray against it. That is the reason they do not mention the need to pray against ritual human sacrifice, and instead urge Christians to participate in the trick-or-treat ritual which represents human sacrifice. Since the trick-or-treat ritual looks cute on the surface, Christians who have not investigated this matter are entering into this annual custom for a little bit of harmless fun. In reality, the trick-or-treat ritual is a cultural, culturally and church-sanctioned way for Satan to gain inroads into the lives of those who participate in it. Many Christians are already aware that Halloween is dedicated to Satan and as such abstain from it. In response to their resolve to do right, Satan uses another avenue in which to deceive them into giving place to him via the accursed trick-or-treat ritual, evangelism. Surely God is pleased when his people respond to Satan's prized trick-or-treat phrase with some cursed candy and attract, right? No, God is not pleased. God will not prevent Satan from taking the ground Christians give him if we participate in his cursed trick-or-treat ritual. When children come to the door saying, trick-or-treat, evil spirits have permission to access our lives if we respond to those words with a treat, even a tract, because to do so is to compromise by touching the unclean thing, the trick-or-treat ritual. The reason for this is because the phrase trick-or-treat is specific to and exclusively used for Satan's Halloween ritual. Satan invented human sacrifice which his servants do on occult ritual days, and he invented Halloween, including the trick-or-treat tradition, to offer a treat in response to the words, trick-or-treat is to partake in, of Satan's ritual. That is how he gains the right to send devils into the lives of trick-or-treat participants, whether they attend church or not. 
Tracts that present the gospel and expose the truth about Halloween may be given out during the day on Halloween and throughout the year. However, God's people must not give place to the devil by participating in the trick-or-treat ritual, because this ritual symbolizes human sacrifice and is an abomination in the sight of God. If you are like me and have participated in the trick-or-treat ritual or permitted your children to do so, I have done both many years ago. Then you need to repent toward God and renounce your participation in this occult ritual. As an obedient child of God who has put this sin behind you, command all evil spirits that came into your lives and the lives of your children to leave in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Bless God for his tender mercies toward those who fear him. Well, so I just think it's really interesting that the focus of a lot of these quote-unquote churches is to celebrate with the children and have these parties on Halloween, these harvest parties, and uh, live it up instead of praying for the children who are going to be sacrificed on Halloween. Because the truth is that there will be sacrifices that will take place. And, you know, whether they're reported of or not, they happen. It's real. There are Satanists out there, and the dedicated Satanists out there are serving the devil. They are killing human sacrifices. So, dedicated Christians need to be on their knees. They need to be praying on Halloween and the week of Halloween, which is what I'm going to be doing. And the next video, I'll talk about prayer. Thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.